since the body needs minerals to sustain itself, does one have to worry about amino acids? In fact, just listen carefully. Amino acids, the body that has no use for acids, mm -hmm. the body is an alkali body. It should be on the alkali side. Although we are always, most of us are 6 or 6.9, slightly on seven, most of, some of us, acidity has no place in our biology. So when the question is asked, if our body needs minerals, yes, our body needs minerals, but the minerals that we have to use has to be pre-digested by a plant. You cannot go and buy a mineral and drink it, meaning an oxide. Example. Let me explain the difference with an oxide and a phosphate. Iron is found in two forms, and that applies to every other mineral, and they are 102. So we're going to use iron as one. So the child is anemic. He needs iron or leukemia, like the little girl in Honduras named Alcida. She was brought to us in coma. He, she needed iron. But we cannot give her a piece of iron, steel. We cannot give her iron that is oxide. Why? That is known as ferrous sulfate. The body cannot assimilate that. But if you get a plant or plants, and make a compound that expresses iron, you find that the plants, through the process of iron trophorosis, they have converted the iron from the soil into a liquid digestible substance. This I learned from Schutz, Edward Schutz. Plants has to assimilate, the, they have to digest, they have to do the conversion. Then when you take it, it is easy for you. It's electrical. That is the difference with an oxide and a phosphate. One is alive and the other is dead. So yes, in taking a mineral, we have to make sure that the mineral that you are taking is one that is alive phosphate instead of an oxide.